My name is Janet McGowan, and my question is, what is the problem the Charter Commission is trying to solve? Amherst for All spent hundreds of hours collecting thousands of signatures to put the Charter Commission on the ballot. Then the Founders for All sent out a questionnaire to all the candidates to identify a slate of candidates to endorse that would create real change. But what change? Amherst for All's website started out with the statement, Amherst is a great place to live. Amherst is a great place to learn. Amherst is a great place to work. Amherst is a great place to visit. I agree. But this statement sounds like a reason to celebrate, not a clarion call for change. What problems were identified on the website for Amherst for All? Um, they acknowledge that our town government has handled things well so far. And then the web page nervously worried our government might not meet future challenges. Several of us raised questions on their Facebook page seeking clarification. The results were confusing. Supporters did not have problems with the actual decisions by the select board or town meeting. No one criticized the town manager. There was criticism of town meeting for inefficiency, a lack of diversity by ethnicity, age, and home ownership. No one complained about the same lack of diversity on the select board with the town manager and in town government itself. Taxes were high, voter turnout was low, etc. But the actual decisions of Amherst town government branches were not in the wrong. So my question still is, what is the problem that the Charter Commission is trying to solve? Is it low vo voter turnout, high taxes, a lack of diversity in governmental branches, how the schools are performing or how they're run? Is the problem of good decisions be being made by largely older citizens who own homes? If you're worried about low vo voter turnout, I'd first ask, why is this a problem? And then I'd find out the causes. It could be, it could be because residents are busy, because they're happy with Amherst, there are few contested seats for select board or school committee. Citizens may be dissatisfied or not know where, when or where the elo local elections take place. The last election wasn't even on the town calendar. Students may not know how to register, when to vote, where to vote, or just not care to vote. If elected officials and town meeting members are not diverse enough, what are the reasons for this? Will eliminating those positions and going to a town council and or a mayor lead to officials who are younger, renters, lower income, or ethnically diverse? There are lots of town and city councils and mayors facing the same problems. Could our existing government address these problems? Can reforms be made to how to improve our existing government? The Charter Commission needs to figure out what the problem it is it's trying to solve. Otherwise, it could just wander all over the place. The Commission also needs to carefully look at the causes, possible solutions, and ask, ask itself if these problems can be addressed in our current government structure that has led to such a successful town. There's been town meetings here since 1660. I just have one sentence. Evidence needs to support each answer, not just perceptions, interpretations, or beliefs. Thank you very much.